Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can add a watermark to your Camtasia Studio recordings. It's been really re uh, a lot very requested, but uh, I also once got this removed. It's also a very popular video that I probably not that this video is probably will probably not be viewed. Excuse me, uh, a, a very a lot. So um, yeah, I just made it because so highly requested. Okay then first thing we need is Camtasia Studio and Adobe Fireworks. In here I'm going to show you how you can create an, an icon similar to this one. Uh, you're going to go on, you want to go on file and then, no, file and new and then you want to set the width and height to 95 95 times 95 and set the canvas color to transparent. This will make the, the it only shows the symbol you have. Now click OK. Now no, this is nothing basically. There's nothing. Uh, so now we just want to take our ellipse tool. You can get it by holding in the rectangle tool and then uh, take the ellipse tool. Make a rectangle. It doesn't matter how big it is because we're just going to go down here and set the width to 88 times 88 times and set the x and y by zero and zero. Now I'll come down here. I'm going to take the move tool and we're going to put it in the center. Now set the uh, stroke to white. I always set it to three or something like that. Three. Uh, now I like to just have a solid dark background. Now you want the shadow. The shadow you can get it by clicking filters, shadow and glow, you know shadow. Uh, set it to I don't know, 23. Set the width, the opacity to uh, 65. Set the blur to zero and set the angle to 303 I really like 303 I don't know just like it and now what what you can see here is it has a shadow over the stroke now we'll remove that but I'll go over that in a second so first we want to set the color to the darkest or lightest gray and here we have our little shadow and our icon now we want to remove the gray shadow over here it's really simple make another circle set the width and height to 88 again and 88 and 0 and 0 uh, we're going to set this in the center but this time we're going to set the fill to uh, nothing it's going to be transparent and we're going to set the uh, stroke to 3 and white again now it'll ha it'll be uh, the stroke will be on top of the other uh, on the other on the other stroke so this way we can actually make it disappear now we just want to take our little text tool hotkey T and then just type in the initials you want I always take FF as my initials are that put it somewhat in the center and here we have it and now some people want to add some gradient that means that goes from one color and goes over to goes over to another. Really simple. I have that on my icon and my watermark. So all you have to do is click this little thing, go on fill options, set the where it says solid, go on gradient, and now edit and set the, it to linear. I always set it to the li lightest red and the darkest black. Well, what that what that mean? And uh, I like the black to be a bit above that. And that way it has a little glow effect. I don't know, it's just really cool, cool I think. Uh, maybe this a bit bigger. Now set it to a perfect size. Now this is what it looks like now. Uh, now we have our little watermark. All we have to do is save it. So go on File, Save As. I'm just going to save it on my desktop. I'm going to call this Watermark. Watermark. and it's been saved. Now go on Camtasia Studio I'm going to import some media I'll just import a song that I have uh, imported it and I'll import I don't know e, some documents my documents and then also I want to take any little file themes files final as it's one of my videos. Now I always set the width to 1280 
by 720 as the as you require require this size to get HD. Now uh, let's play this for a second. I'll just test something out. Uh, I'll just move this a bit to the other side, and I'll just uh, do all your editing, your audio enhancements, all of those things that you want to do before uh, exporting the video. I'm now going to lower the sound of this a bit and I'm going to move it back and let's see if it works now it doesn't um, and then do your all your zooms <coughs> excuse me and all of those things that you need to do now go and produce if it's not there or the task list we're going to view and task list now made it go, uh, go away task list and now go and produce video ads now I always set it to custom production settings you can just add or edit a preset uh, so get a custom production settings uh, I always set it to WMV I do yeah I do and uh, then I click next I take the recommended profile custom size uh, 1280 by height 720 and maintain uh, aspect, aspect ratio and now I say include watermark. It says watermark over here. Now click options. And then you can just edit how it looks. Now actually what I want to do is actually uh, put my opacity a bit up to be honest. So just locate your file by clicking the little folder over here. And just locate it. And then when that is done, you'll have our, your little watermark over here. Now I would like to up my opacity to 50 as I don't really like the color when it's set to uh, to 40. Well basically what the opacity does is how solid it is. 100% is completely solid so you can't th see through it. Zero is nothing. You can see through it and nothing else. Come on 50. Why can't I hit 50? Well, just set it to, uh, I'll just set it to 55, so 55 is okay. And say, I always say the image scale is 21, horizontal offset 5 and 5, I don't have emboss and I don't have use transparent color. I, ha I have, uh, I s you can set it anywhere you want thanks to this. Uh, set it here ruins everything, I like to have it here, I, th I think it's best and then you can remember to keep aspect ratio if not it will distort and set it back to so use smooth scaling yeah if not the scale will be a bit not smooth preserve image scale it will be really big depend on how big you made it but on this by using this tutorial it won't be really big now click ok next next call it whatever you want and finish and that's basically how you add a little watermark to your recordings Thank you very much for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And don't forget to check out how I make money online. Uh, that's www.moredetailsformoney.tk. Thank you very much for watching.